Well, ahoy there, cats and kittens. Today, I'm going to teach you how to solve any equation just by using your calculator. Pretty simple. We're going to use our uh, TI 84 Plus today, and this is how it's done. This is how it's done. We are going to just make believe that every variable that we see here is an X. I'm just gonna make believe. So N and X are the same exact thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my calculator. I'm going to hit Y equals. And on uh, Y1 or Y sub one, I'm gonna type out the left side, which is just 75. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the Y2 and anything on the right side is going to be that. So I have three parentheses, negative six. We're pretending that N is X. So the X button, the variable button, variable button is right there. All the coolness that I had to start out this video is now out the window. Um, I'm still kind of cool though. I mean, look at these glasses. Uh, minus five close parentheses. The left side is Y sub one. The right side is Y sub two. You hit graph. Now I don't see where those lines intersect. And that's what I'm looking for. Those of you who have seen uh, my videos on solving systems of equations know that I'm looking to find out when things intersect. Well, I don't see it. So this is what you can do to see where those lines intersect. Go to zoom and then go all the way down to zoom fit going to be zero. And once you hit zoom fit, you get to see where they intersect. Sometimes you have to do this. Sometimes you don't have to do this. If it's not giving you an answer, then you have to do zoom fit. My next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit second calc. I care where these lines intersect. So I'm going to go down to five or just hit five. First curve, enter. Second curve, enter. Third curve, enter. And there you have it have it. Now I care about X. I don't care about Y. Do you see Y in this problem? No. And I created the X. So what was X? N? So X equals negative five, which means my answer is N equals negative five. And that, ladies and jelly spoons, is how it's done. Pretty out of sight. Let's do another one. Let's clear out everything. Second plus seven, one, two clears out everything. I'm allowed to do this here because I'm using a fake calculator on a computer. If you have your own calculator with stuff stored on it, I wouldn't second plus seven, one, two. Um, all right, Y equals. On the top, I type in the left side, 12 parentheses. Uh, 2K is going to be 2X plus 11, close parentheses. Go down to the second line, 12 parentheses, 2KX plus 12. Now at this stage, you should be saying, well, wait a minute, the, the left side and the right side are so similar. I wonder if something's going to happen. Well, let's hit graph and see what we look at. Hmm. Let's just out of curiosity to see what happens when I do zoom fit. So I'm going to go to zoom, go down to zero, or just hit the zero button, zoom fit. Okay, that didn't seem to do much. So I'm going to try to find where these lines intersect. Second, calc. Go to intersect. Enter. First curve, enter. Second curve, enter. Guess, enter. <gasps> Gasp! There's no answer. Did I do it wrong? No. You see, my friends, these two lines are parallel. And since they have no sign change, that means they don't cross over each other, which means there's no solution. Me writing fast with a mouse in hand. I'll give myself about seven stars out of five on that one. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. You just have to be careful for the no solution ones. 
Uh, and you should be able to do, using this method by making sure you hit zoom fit, you should be able to do every single problem on the planet, every single one. You just have to make sure that if you notice that they don't ever intersect, that they're parallel, you know it's a no solution. And if you notice that they're the same exact line, that has infinite solutions. Remember all of that and you will live a happy life. Bye.